And on to the ballot question. Colorado Springs firefighters sought a permanent seat at the table with city leaders for a better say in how that department is run. But their collective bargaining measure was rejected by voters tonight. It only gained support from just about 31% of the vote. News by Sam Kramer. He's in studio tonight with reaction from both sides. Yeah, this campaign was really all about securing a say in how their department operates moving forward. That's things like equipment standards, protocol for responding to calls, and even compensation. Remember, a large portion of their frontline apparatus, their engines and trucks, are way past industry standards in age and mileage. They're surprised tonight, not only in the result, but really the margin of defeat. Now, as part of the campaign, firefighters knocked on more than 47,000 doors, another 10,000 done by volunteers. They felt they got their message across, but it's clear tonight they fell short despite all the hours and more than $700,000 spent. It's a huge surprise to us, especially the amount of work we put in. We were almost certain that the city was ready to vote this sort of agreement into place. Now, their main opposition was Mayor John Southers in the Colorado Springs Chamber of Commerce, who argued that this would open the door for other city employees like police officers, utility linemen and even foresters. He says early polling actually favored the firefighters, which is why his advertising focused on what he saw as negatives with a potential agreement. Obviously, we were able to convince them that this was not something in the interest of the uh, people of the city of Colorado Springs, and I'm really heartened by that result. So moving forward, Roy and the firefighters tell me they will remain professional, continue to respond to emergencies at the best of their ability. And Southers, while well, he was adamant to say that public safety will always be his top priority, particularly says he, do, he will do all he can to help the firefighters and police officers. Always watching out for you, Colorado Springs, Sam Kramer, News 5.